Good evening, good evening everybody. Ah, good evening, uh, Mr. Skittles coming in straight away there. How is everyone this fine, fine evening? Well, let me just move my camera out a little bit. Hold on, where am I? Where's my mouse pointer gone? Where has it gone? There it is. This side? Oh, there, there it is. Let me just zoom that out a little bit. There we go. It's a little bit better. There we go. We can see everyone in. I hope everybody is well this fine, fine Wednesday evening. Ready for some gold making this evening. I haven't got too long tonight, but we're going to see how things go. It's kind of scrambled to pick the stream up. <laughs> no worries. Uh, good evening, Lord Lux. How are you? I'm doing very well myself, thank you very much. Enjoying the sights of Boralus at the moment, enjoying the music. Now, I must confess, I did do a quick relist of my auctions first thing this morning, and I accidentally opened my mailbox a bit too much, and ended up opening up all my mail, which was about, I think, 20 odd thousand in the mail. So I don't actually know what I've got left in the mail. It's probably gonna be nothing, unless there's some sales in there. Let's have a look and see what we do have. I'm not expecting a great deal, to be honest. Oh, actually, we do have a couple of things. That's interesting. What have we got? Ah, now interesting. We've got um, two Sun Data hatchlings selling, which is nice. And we also have uh, Bountiful Captain's Feast times five, both selling, which gives me a grand total of 40,000 gold. Ah, good evening, Commander Bond. How are you? How have you been? Saw your comment on YouTube earlier. I hope you're doing well. What else have we got here? Uh, enchant ring, binding of versatility, intellect, and a couple of cheaper ones here. Herbalism there, binding of mastery. All in all, not bad. This is just sales today because I picked up all my other auctions earlier today, so that's pretty good. Uh, deviated Path, how are you? Thanks for stopping by. Glad to be home for a stream for once. Well, good to have you back. All right, we're going to open up this mail. 40,000. Let's take that. So if we combine that with what we had before, what have we got? We have 513,000 gold, so half a million, which is a good, good amount. Uh, we've got some junk there we need to sell. Let's just quickly do that. Let's bring that back up and sell that. And then this lot needs to go into the bank, so I've cleared some space. And then we can start doing a little bit of organising, I think. Uh, that oh, that's no um, that's no cap. That's just a um, just a black fleecy blanket. That's one of Oreo's favourites, so he will uh, he will jump on that later, hopefully. Let's go have a look. And let's go pop this stuff up. It's always a mystery. <laughs> Absolutely. You never know. If it starts moving, then it's probably not a rug or a blanket. Um, let's go guild bank things first. So I have some fish here. I want to put into my BFA fish section. So red tail, sand shifter, slimy mackerel. We also have some stringy loins which needs to go into my ingredients and then a few enchanting things here sorceress volatiles i'll keep the fractures oh i got an elec plushie that was very kindly given to me by a mysterious person so i've got that to pop in and shall dry silk can go in here now those i'll keep hold of the tide spray and that those i'll keep hold of and what else have I got? Sailor's Pie, I don't remember making that. And there's my fish and chips. Okay. Have I got any more fish and chips? I think they're all in the bank. Let's go have a look at the bank. Ah, oh, hey Danny H. Well, how are you? Last few weeks I've uh, been at five and always hosting. Uh, you missed your wow sound fix. I've been a bit later um, than usual. So for me, it's uh, yeah, it's gone 10 o'clock. Uh, it's close to 11 o'clock now. So um, it all depends on what's going on with the family, really. So I've been a bit more relaxed in my starting times of late. Um, uh, Kripachu, how are you? 
just got the screen notification. We literally just done. All we've done is the mailbox opening. Uh, that was 40,000. And now we're just going to tidy up a few things. I've seen enough movies to know that always isn't true. <laughs> Very true. Uh, Morgan Kane, how are you? Thanks for stopping by. Shall we talk business? All right. I haven't had that bank voice before. Right, okay, so let's pop in nylon thread, tie spray linen, and shelter eye silk. And umbra shards, let's pop those in with along with gloom dust. Keep hold of that. Uh, keep hold of that. Everything else is either quest things. Um, we were also looking at swamp fish and chips. I uh, don't have any others here, so that must be all of it. <laughs> Still got my carrot on a stick. Come back there we are. Uh, Morin G, how are you? Thanks for stopping by. Uh, only the first syllable is Creepachu. Like, like Pikachu, but Creepachu. Okay, I've got it. It's very nice. Always a Pokemon fan. Um, right, okay. <clears throat> Let's move on to... We've cleared our bags a little bit. Got some space. We need to put this Alec plushie on. Uh, normally that is in my list somewhere. Let's have a look. We have a group for it at the moment. Uh, Anyx, how are you? Good evening to you. Uh, good mailbox? Yes, uh, 40,000. And that was just in today. So very nice. Very happy with that. Thank you, Danny. Um, where were we? Uh, tailoring. Alec plushie. It's in there. Oh, thank you very much for using your Prime. Very, very kind of you. Thank you ever so much for your support. Let's see some uh, chef's hats for Danny. Oh, and uh, Metal Wolf. Thank you also for the sub using your Prime. Thank you both for your support. Let's see, lots of chef's hats. Welcome both to the Samadans Court. Uh, you got marks of honor saved up for the new sets. I have a few. I need to get some more. Uh, it's definitely more than I've got at the moment. So Alec Plushy is currently in there at one thousand. <laughs> Coming in with the cheers as well, Danny. Thank you very much. Very much appreciated. I think that puts you straight into the uh, leaderboard. So that should post on. Let's have a look. Why has that not posted? Let's run a post scan. Needs to be at least two centuries old. Why wouldn't that one go on? Ah, Crazy Pink Iguana. How are you? Thanks for stopping by. Uh, with the amount of uh, alt friendliness coming in 8.1, uh, those sets are going to sell real well. Yes, very good point, Lucid Fox, actually. Um, I'm definitely going to make sure I've got enough for at least a start on that. Um, what have you got? So, Griff the Warding and the Admiral's Hat are coming in but no Alec plushie. So that should be in a group. Ah, I need to cage it, that's why. And put it back in, I think. I have to learn it first. Oh, interesting. Ah, it's a level 25 one. Okay. Too high level for you to uncage. Aha. Okay, that's a new one on me. I've not actually got high enough level pets. Interesting one. Oh, thank you, Pink Iguana. Very kind of you. Okay, we'll have to keep that for the moment. We'll come back to that another time when I've got some pet battles under my belt. Maybe I'll pop it in the bank for now until I can do that at a later point. So let's pop that in the bank. Everything else, going to keep this Sailor's Pie. I'm not sure about selling 0.62. I'm um, not sure where I got that from. Must have picked some up from somewhere. Crafting cost is five gold. Let's see if there's any we can actually sell. Let's just go see if we can clear that out. Let's go into uh, Brutusaur Mount. Get the auction house going up. Let's move over. And then we'll bring our bags up. Move that over here. Go to the shopping tab, shift click on Sailor's Pie, 
Do we have any there? It's 15 gold at the moment. Now the crafting cost is coming in at 58 gold, which is because my slimy mackerel price is uh, very, very high. Overly high, I imagine. So let's pop this on as it is, because I don't believe I actually made this. I must have picked it up somewhere. So let's post on at the basic. Maximum 5, 15, 29, 48 hours post. There we go. That's got that one done. Ah, good evening, Mushy. How are you? Um, oh, what's that? It gives you a... Hold on, what have I missed here? Easiest way to get level 25 pet is to do the quick quest in your garrison. Ah, okay. Hey, that noob, how are you? Uh, it gives you a stone that upgrades a pet to level 25. Right. Okay. And you should be able to uncage pets at max level once you, you already have one. Okay, there we go. Hi, Agent Rusky, how are you? So, game plan for today. Um, there's something I've wanted to do for a little while. Um, and I'm not sure if I'll do it on stream tonight or another time. And that's to go through my tailoring groups. Just try and reorganize it a little bit. And make it into a concise group. Because uh, at the moment I've got a legacy of all the sort of the old world stuff, which has a whole load of the old stuff from TSM3 professions. And I've also got my BFA set, and I wanted to condense that into a sort of nice tidy set of operations and then put that into a paste bin. So let's have a look at that whilst we're here. So currently I have my BFA set of things with a tailoring subsection here. And then I have all my pre-BFA professions, which has tailoring down here, which is a fair amount. And then in my tailoring section, I have a whole load of stuff that's probably not as useful. So what I want to do is do a little bit of organization. So let's see if we can do this with TSM and also use some profiles so that we've got a few different options here. So I'd like to do a copy of this one. There should be a way of duplicating this. Last time I did one. Just BFA. Once you select it, you can't duplicate it. So if you want to duplicate something, you have to not select it. Maybe I need to clear a few of these out. Let's go through. I've not been using these. So let's just clear. We're just going to uh, clear out a few of these. Default new test. You can see I've been trying a few things out here. Um, default. Let's keep the default. Let's get rid of the default new. So we've got Samadan, which is the main one. So let's duplicate that one. Hmm. And that doesn't seem to have done anything. It should have duplicated it. Let's try a reload and see if we get an extra one. Okay, do you get profile confirmation to copy settings from Samadan into your currently active one? Aha, okay. Right, okay, so let's make a new one. And we'll call this um, tailoring um, backup. We'll start with that and create a new profile. So that one's tailoring backup. Now I want to duplicate this one into tailoring backup. Copy the settings from Samadan into your currently active one. Okay. So let's try that. So we're now in tailoring backup. There we go. Uh, uh, Akari Jenkuro. Hello, thank you for stopping by. Hope you're doing well. Don't forget drums and feasts. Of course, Mushy. I'll come back to that towards the end if I can. Um, are the sales information shown across profiles? It should be that noob. Let's have a look. So we're at our tailoring group, um, which is a copy of the regular Samadan group. So everything's here. But what we can do now is I can start deleting a few things, like say the battle pets and um, old world drops. So what I'm trying to do now is just clean out all the stuff I wouldn't be using and just, just go for tailoring things. Like all of these, um, we can get rid of those. So let's have a look at some of these. Let's say for exam example, dress shoes. We've still got the last sold 65 days ago, 38 days ago, so they've still got the data on those. 
So that should be... Um, I may have overwritten the Just BFA with the Salmon Ancestors. I might have done uh, Creeper Chew. Um, I'm not too concerned about that profile because that's kind of like a throwaway one anyway. Um, um, yes, it is uh, Skittles. It is a stainless steel straw. Um, my wife bought a whole set of them, obviously to save on plastic, and they're really, really useful. So I don't know where she got them from, though. I'll have to ask her and find out. Um, hey, McBainey, how are you? Um, can you post a question and ask how you could lower its minimum? You got the string from a friend, min price, but you think it's too high. Okay, yeah, sure. Um, you certainly pop, pop it in, we'll have a look at it. Uh, you can get them from Amazon. Okay, thank you, it's missus. Uh, so let me have a look here. So maximum between the first... Okay, let's have a look at this. Um, some South American uh, Bambila or a metal straw from uh, Amazon. Oh, right. Is the South American now? I heard about this. Is it called mate or something where there's a filter in the bottom of the straw where you drink a certain drink? I think it's South American, isn't it? I remember someone telling me about it. A tea called uh, a yerba mate. Okay. I had I had heard of something like that. Yeah. Very interesting. I have to try that one out. Drink from a good using a bambila, a perforated straw. Aha! Okay. There we go. We learned something new. Right, back to McBaney's string. Maximum, let's um let's copy this in so we can have a look at it. Um where would be a good place to put it? Uh let's make Let's make an operation. Auctioning. Let's add one in. New operation. Posting. Let's copy and paste it in and just have a look at it. Okay, so let's have a look. Where's it gone? Copy that. Control all paste. So looking at this, so you're looking at the, it's going to do the maximum between either the first, so the, I'll look at the first of these, 103% of the, uh, the maximum between either your crafting cost, so you're adding the 103% on, or your average buy, so the maximum between either your crafting or your average buy, so it depends on what your average buy price is. Maybe you've bought something for like a really high price and it will always take 103% of your average buy price. But then that's divided by 0.8. So you've got your 103%, but then you're dividing it by 0.8. Is that to take into account auction house cost, I imagine? And then you've got... Um, so you, the first the first instance you'll do that, but if you don't have a crafting or average buy price, it's going to then go on to forty percent of either. Well, the first would be the minimum DB market, and then if it hasn't got DB market, so forty percent DB market, then it would be seventy five percent DB region market average. So the first would be the minimum between the two of them, either DB market or 75% of DB region market. Okay. And then if not that, then it will go on to DB, DB region historical. Okay, so basically if there's no prices for it, it will go on to historical. And then if there's no prices for that, it will go on to global market average. And then if there's no information for that, it will go to global historical. And then at the end is 105%. So if it doesn't do that, then it'll do 105% of vendor sale, also divided by 0.8. Wow. Okay, so it's quite a long string. There's a lot of stuff going on there. The likelihood is it wouldn't get to any of these end things because it's using the first operation right at the beginning. 
Now, looking at that, it's also using the maximum operation. Where's the next bracket on that going? I would assume that would be at the end. Let's have a look. Yeah, because there's the two brackets there. So it's the maximum either between 105% of the vendor cell divided by 0.8 or the first of 103% maximum of crafting or average buy or that goes on. So it's a tricky one to work out where TSM would be taking the price from. You'd have to put an item in and then look at the tooltip. My temptation would be to strip out a lot of it and just see what you get on something just like um, if I was to look at this, maybe just take 103% and look at something like where's the other bracket coming on? The maximum between average crafting by that so there I take all of that out that would be my first test we'd we'll see what kind of price I got in the tooltip for just that 103% max crafting and average buy divided by 0.8 and see what kind of things I could get there. I'd start with it simple and then maybe add a few things on further on and try and understand the string as I introduced more things and look at the tooltip as I added things in. That would be what I'd probably do with that one. Right, what have I missed out on chat? Um, um, da -da -da. Pattern has one of those. Uh, don't you know where you put it though. I know this really drink matter, it's quite bitter. Yeah, I've never tried it myself. Um, and uh, Ax, uh, Axel, how are you? Thanks for stopping by. Do you know um, the game Unreal World? No, I don't actually. Uh, it might be bitter because you should uh, scalded it with piping hot water. You want to let the water cool for five minutes before steeping. Oh, right, so not like regular tea then, because normally with regular tea you scold it, don't you? Um, also, flavours the stay make it more pleasant. Uh, citrus makes it nice. Okay. And what are we trying to sell? Yeah, that's the other question, is what we're doing. Um, burning coffee beans. Yeah, probably. Use it for the higher price crafted transmog. Crafted gear. Okay. No worries, McBenny. I hope it made some sense. Um, and hi, hey, Daniel. How are you? Um, having a lovely evening. Thank you very much. Um, treat it as a green green tea. Green friends really bitter if you scold it. Ah, oh, I didn't know that about green tea. Oh, okay, we learned something new there. Right. So let's carry on with this editing of tailoring group. What I'm going to do first, I'll make sure I'm in the right profile now which is the tailoring backup. Let's just check Just BFA now. What is it now? Let's have a look. Yeah, it looks like Just BFA is a, a backup of uh, the Samadan one now. So we can probably safely delete that one. Thankfully, TSM is backing things up. So I've always got that as a backup. So we've got main Samadan um, one. Now we've got tailoring backup, which is where we're at at the moment. So let's go back into this. Uh, single cell misc we want to get rid of. Um, there we go, I want to delete that. Now here we go, pre-BFA professions, alchemy we're going to delete. Because what I'm going to do is once I've cleared all this out, I'm going to then re-import it back in with just the operations that it's using into a new profile. And then mining, we're going to get rid of that. There we go. Hey uh, Lydius, how are you? Right, okay, so this group, tailoring, within it has a whole load of miscellaneous stuff. And so what I want to do is just take these out and pop them in its own group. I'm thinking of using the BFA as a base. Let's take out the cooking and the enchanting. Fishing and the miscellaneous. Then what I can do is take this tailoring and make that into the base group and then take this lot and this is going to come out from from this tailoring group here and I'm going to pop it all into this tailoring group so the shirts can go in pretty clothes 
Uh, pretty Clothes probably needs to have another split because I remember putting a few things in there. Actually, no, it looks fairly clean. It's just got those in there. Uh, Alec Plushie, it's got its own special one. Bags can go in. Then that one's finished with, so we're going to delete that. Then we've got uh, the BFA group we don't need now. I'm going to clear that one out. Uh, US Alliance uh, Warfront just popped. Oh, excellent. Good luck on your Warfronts. So we've got some nice tailoring things here. There's a tailoring mats group here, which is Deep Sea Satin and Tide Spray Linen. That should really be in a shopping group. So maybe we'll take this and maybe we'll do a shopping group here. So let's add one here. Let's call this new group name. Oops. Oops, not so. Shop. Shopping. There we go. Now, I would want this to go up at the top. So what I'm going to do is edit this and change the number system like that. Oops. There we go. Now the shopping will be at the top and all the other things will be in the bottom. There we go. Uh, Warfronts uh, might raise prices on BOEs and any item enchantments uh, might be too late already. Um, yes, it could do. It all depends on what, what people get, really. Um, might buy uh, to get the needed eye level 320. Yeah, because that's where I'm at at the moment. I'm only 302 or something like that, so I've still got a long way to go on my on my item level. So tailoring mats, we want to pop those in to here, but we're going to call this, instead of tailoring mats, we're going to call this uh, BFA mats. Like that. And then in my favorite shopping, we're going to take the cloth and pop that into the shopping tab and the cloth bolts, which is also good. Now there's some other things in here. We why is Shadow Silk in its own one? Probably because it was in its own one whilst I was selling it, probably. Shadow Silk. So let's have a look. Let's put that in a shopping group. Uh, leatherworking, Legion Enchanting, Planet Essence, Processing, Mongoose, Waters of Draenor, Herbs and all we don't really need. Good stuff has a few things in there. Some of these things I do need for certain tailoring things like, um, I don't think it's in here, Golden Pearl is one of them. So maybe I'll leave, I'll leave that off for now. We can always come back and make a new one there. So I'm going to take all of this and I'm going to clean that out. So this leaves me now with a tailoring group. Uh, shopping is going to have all the bolts and deep sea satin, emsilk cloth, fell cloth, frostweave cloth. Okay. BFA mats, the regular cloth, cloth bolts, and shadow silk on its own. And then bags, we're making hex weave bags, hydro bags, deep sea bag, now needs to go into its own one there. Now, what else have you got here that I maybe use or maybe don't use? Let's have a look. Um, how long have I been trading on the auction house using TSM? I have been using it just over a year. I started with TSM 3 probably in about um, June, July 2017. And then shortly after that, once I started learning a few things, I wanted to share my knowledge. I think it came sort of about late August uh, 2017 when I started doing YouTube and streaming. Um, that was in the beginning of September. And then TSM 4 open beta came out which is in about October 2017 and I've been using TSM4 ever since then. Uh, but I just uh, saw you posting convenience stack sizes the other day and started doing it with your alchemy and it's done wonders. Excellent. Very good. That was a good tip from uh, Jack the Dipper that one. Um, I, I don't do any older items, uh, just BFA? No, definitely Winchester. I definitely do older ones. We've got lots of things here. We're just looking at tailoring at the moment. And we've got things like the Honorable Gear here. We've got uh, Pretty Clothes Wise. Um, I've got a whole load of things like the Black Mage Weave, 
the shadowy mask, mooncloth robe, the tuxedo things, they're all quite useful. Um, oh, um, hello Tal V, thank you very much for the sub using your Prime. Thank you very much for your support. Let's see a whole lot of Samadan Chef's hats for you to use as you like. Thank you very much. So we've got things here, we've got Tide Spray clothing. Now Tide Spray clothing, I don't need that anymore. I don't certainly don't make those. I use that for leveling, but that's not needed. And then flags I'm not sure about. Honorable gear, we're gonna keep definitely. I don't have things like the magic carpet in here yet. That's another thing. Uh, lucky shirt. Now that's a vendor buy item. I believe. I did sell it once. Last time I sold it uh, three, no, 24 days ago for 3,000. Finally glad to catch me live. Uh, watch my YouTube channel. Uh, this is the first time uh, you've caught. Well, welcome to the live stream. We are currently just going through and doing a bit of a sort of a deep dive into tailoring at the moment. Try to neaten it up into a comprehensive uh, group on its own of all the things that sell for me. Uh, this lucky shirt I'm just looking at now at the moment. I'm wondering whether to take that out as a thing. I mean, we have sold one 24 days ago. I don't think I've had one on since, so. Maybe I need to look at that. Regular shirts though, definitely. We've got um, all the ones you make, which are in here. Now, Rich Purple used to be in one of its own because it had its own special group. But now, because the price has really... Actually, no, the price has gone back up again. That's quite nice. It's back up to uh, 2,800. Because there was a time when it was... Uh, way way lower which is why I've um, reduced the price there to oh, there goes our ear um, that's why it's gone way down to 50 gold because the crafting cost is only 13 gold so maybe we'll leave that at the moment other things we've got here let's have a look there's going to be certain things I can see some stuff expiring there I might have to pop on and sort those out so shirts you make definitely want to keep these are all the shirts I can make I love having just one of those on Slippers, uh, save your slippers I don't remember um, making. What do they require? Uh, ruined orbs and moon shroud. That's expired a long time ago. I've got one on the auction house. 45 expires. Don't think that's really worth it. So let's get rid of that. Silk weave clothing. Now we've had last sold 106 days ago that one hasn't sold silk weave rope and then this one again 108 days ago so not necessarily a good one there now the blanket has turned into a, an oreo here on the camera uh family two sim for sure originally uh helped to get set up really enjoyed uh, dabbling in gold making excellent fun mini game inside the game exactly that's exactly how I like to think of it shirts are nice uh, usually they um, they buy one they end up buying about 10 to 20 based on what they need for the achievement yes exactly Danny shirts are a good one for that jury's out on these uh, silk weave ones they are pretty cheap to make so I might keep those for the moment shadow weave mask is a definite yes because those that want the lucid mount will have that crafting cost is 1100 when did I last sell one? 23 days ago. A Mooncloth Robe is one of my favourites. Uh, it's been 61 days since I've sold one, but I have sold five since I've had my accounting data. Now this powerful hex weave cloak I don't like to do because it's not sold. It's failed 24 times so far, but it's a bit of a pain to make as well because it takes up my hex weave, which I could use elsewhere on the hex weave bags. So I'd rather use that. Uh, Imperial silk gloves. I don't think I've ever had a sale of those. So I'm going to take those out as well. Now, fancy robes. Frost weave. I sold one 72 days ago. That one I sold 52 days ago. And grey woolen 73 days ago. Okay. Yeah, ditch the silk weave. So I've checked the deposit cost. Okay, let's have a look. Silkweave has um, 
Now, what is going to be the deposit cost for that? I'd have to check actually by posting one on. Currently have them on the auction house, so in order to do that, let's just take those off. Have anything ancient My to auctions. Needs to be at least two centuries old. Silk weave. Right, what have we got here? Is there a way of seeing deposit cost here? Right, I'll have to take them off. Let's cancel that. Ah, oh, they're actually uh, random in charts as well, that's interesting. Probably not worth it in that case. So what we'd have to do now is just swap profiles. Oh, I've got some expires as well I need to do as well. So let's have a look here. And uh, just go back to the regular Samadan profile. And then if we were to go and do a post at the moment, auctioning, run a post scan. Let's have a look. Oh, I need to go to the mailbox. Let's go have a look. On we go. Right, let's take all these expires and cancels. Let's open all those up. There we are. Yes. <laughs> Remembered already, Mushy. Got to do the mailbox. There we go. Right, okay. So, let's have, have a look. Run a post scan. Let's get the expires off. So, Tome of Illusions, definitely. Get those back on. We can have a look at these and, and kind of work out what we're going to do. If nothing else, I can collect the um, appearance of them. Right, so let's just go through these one by one. All the enchants, definitely. All of those. And then... Chest, chest, silk weave satchel, uh, doing okay. What's the profit on a silk weave satchel? Looking like 260, that's pretty good. Um, oh, out of your wow, a thousand bits, thank you very much. Uh, question for me, hold on, let me just lean over and see this one. <clears throat> Is it correct uh, that TSM doesn't show you all your mail at once? You need to reload the client to fetch your mail. Um, that's normal behavior. Yes, it's standard Blizzard mail behavior, but it only shows the first 50 at the time. And then once it's taken the 50, then you have to, you can either wait for um, 60 seconds or you can do a slash reload. That's usually um, usually quicker. But yes, as um, Kojak says, it's on Blizzard's side. Um, that's the way to do it on that one. But uh, thank you for the question, Lou. No, no need to cheer for questions though, feel free to just uh, pop them in chat. But uh, the cheer is very much appreciated, thank you very much. Right, so let's post the satchels on. Honourable combatant pants, are that still um, profitable? 1,300 profits, so the profits have gone down on that. Now, silk weave hood tells me a deposit cost of zero, but that won't be correct, will it? It'll actually have a proper deposit cost. Uh, so let's skip that for now. Black Mage Weave, that's all right. I'll post that on. And again, slippers, it says zero, so we'll skip that. Post that on. And we've got another couple of those. Oh, did I just do that? No, not quite. Let's skip that one. There we go. Okay, so let's have a look here. So these are our Silk Weave. So if we go to the regular interface we should be able to see what the deposit cost is on these uh, auctions so silk weave hood oh 19 gold for that yes sorry got an oreo meowing behind me and then we have what was that? Uh, robes of the Fire Flash, deposit of 22 gold, and slippers. How are these? Um, 
That's the hood, robe, slippers. Hold on, let's get that over. Slippers, 17 gold. Okay, so they're quite pricey. So, given the number of expires we've had on these, 42, um, 42 and 43, that's going to be pretty expensive. See why you ditch them? Yep, yeah, I totally can see why you ditch them. So what we do, we won't waste these. We haven't actually collected the appearance of the slippers, so we're going to pick that one up. Let's take that off first. There we go. Right, so I'm going to collect the appearance of that. And then I've already got that one. Collect the appearance of the slippers. There we go. Take that. Uh, sell to the vendor, don't disenchant. Let's have a look at the different prices there. So the disenchant value is 10 gold and the vendor sell price 31 gold. Yeah, good call. So let's go do that whilst we have them. Better to get the more gold. So let's vendor that. Let's clear those out. A little bit of housekeeping, definitely worth doing. Okay, so moving on. Oh, there's a few things that were about to expire. So whilst I'm doing that, let's just take these off. And let's do the elemental force as well whilst we're here. Take those two off. There we go. And we'll open that up in the mail. Take those off. There we go. Uh, Dorksoap, thank you very much for the sub, using your Prime. Very, very kind of you. Thank you ever so much for your support. Let's see some more Samadan Chefs. Thank you everyone who subbed tonight. Really, really appreciate it. For the subs and the cheers, really appreciate your support. Okay, we're going to go through that, and then we're going to post these on. And then we're going to carry on with our things. Let's have a look. Let's get those on. Right, um, most of those are all fine for now. Let's get those on. Stylish green shirt, 333, nice price. Okay, so moving on. Let's have another look. Let's go back to my profile, tailoring back up. So this is getting a little bit clearer now. Uh, so the things I'm shopping for is the bolts of made weave and all the various bits of cloth. Now I don't have the shopping for all the various things I need for making things, which would be something I would want to build up uh, depending on what I have here. Bags wise, deep sea bag, hex weave bag, hydral expedition bag, and silk weave satchel. I did have it on a number of 12 um, for crafting. I don't tend to be able to make that many so let's see if we can change that to um, something a bit cheaper or a bit less in quantity let's try something like eight of each that's probably more applicable and it's got the cell bags operation to that because these have all got one of each on and then the elec plushie is there one of each Embroidered cloaks, and let's just have a look at that. What's in there? The, oh, the embroidered deep sea cloak of the fire flash. Ah, now that was. Was that something I was going to do? I don't think I remember doing because I think it was in my honorable gear. Crafting has the cloak in it. I don't think the embroidered cloak is a decent one to do, so let's leave that one off. And probably the same with the flags. That's only really for the hand ins when that's useful. So we could look at that, maybe add ones in, but I'll leave it for the moment. And then the honorable gear, that's my main money maker at the moment, but that's obviously going to tailor off, <laughs> tailor off, um, that's going to um, peter off until 8.1 comes out with the new stuff. So that will do for now. Uh, Black Mage Weave and Admiral's Hat, those are all fine. I tend to have a few sales of these. 39, 22 days, 14 days, 52 days, 11 days and 56 days. Fancy outfits as like the dress shoes, 
simple dress. I've had a few sales of those. Nothing massive. Haven't had a sale of a white woolen dress for a while. That's expired a lot. We'll keep that on for now. Now fancy robes we were looking at. Now those were... Have I got a sale of those? 72 days ago, 52 days ago, and 73 days ago. I'm not sure about the deposit costs of those. They may be something to ditch. The frost weave and the frost woven. The moon cloth I like to have on, as I mentioned, because the profit on that is really good. An 8,000 profit on that. And the silk weave we decided to go against, so we're going to get rid of those. So that's a nice, clean looking tailoring section with some shopping and some bags and some operations. Now what this, this uh, profile has is a whole load of extra operations which I don't necessarily need. So I want to thin that lot out. So what I'm going to do is export this group and re-import it back in and see if I can just clear it all out. So let's have a look how I do that. So let's make a new profile, um, tailoring, clean, there we go, and uh, leave me in. thank you very much for the follow. So tailoring clean, so what we're going to do here, we'll go back to tailoring backup, we'll go export, we'll select tailoring, now do we have to select the whole lot, no I'll just do the base one there. Uh, click on export rather, there we go, tailoring, that's got everything, include attached operations, there's the list of everything, click next, there's the string, so we'll control C copy that, Oops. there we go, select it first, control C copy it, and then settings wise, we'll go back to our tailoring clean, now this should be empty, yes it is, and then import from there into the base group. Uh, move already grouped items, include operations, ignore duplicate operations, paste in them, and then click import, and it gives me everything. We'll do a little confirm, and wait for Mr. Potato to catch up. Hopefully, did the confirm work? Let's try again. That didn't work. We'll have a look. Oh no, it has got the group in there. That's everything. Now looking at the operations, it's a, a lot cleaner now. So we have Alec Plushy Manual, Mooncloth Robe, Cell Shadow Silk, Shadowy Mask. Crafting wise, we've got one, two, four, and eight of each. Mailing, we don't have one. Shopping, we have Average Buy and a Shop Crafting. And Sniper, we've got a standard DB region. I wonder what that's used on. Okay, let's have a look at the groups then. Ah, good evening, Z. How are you? So, looking at this, this is our... This is our tailoring clean group now. So let's just check that everything has groups and operations assigned to them. Because sometimes TSM doesn't assign them. So it's got shopping average buy. That's fine. Uh, cloth should be also, now cloth should have been um, average buy, I think. So what we'll do here is we'll put the average buy in the shopping operation here. And then we'll put it in here, shopping average buy. There we go. Ah, good evening machine, how are you? How's your week been so far? We're just going through and doing a nice, neat little tailoring group at the moment. So cloth, cloth bolts. Now cloth bolts, I seem to remember having a specific shopping operation for them. Shopping crafting, I think it was. Let's just have a quick look at that. Um, shop crafting. Uh, that was the crafting price. Okay. Is that right? Let me just double check that. Let's go back to my tailoring backup. Go to the group. 
shopping, cloth bolts. See what I can remember. Yes, it was. It was shop crafting that was used there. And the sniper was standard DB region. Uh, this is a lot to set up. <laughs> just downloaded it today. Yes, it can be. Um, what I'm doing here is I'm just going through my own group and trying to uh, tidy it up a little bit. So it's probably a lot more complicated. I mean, this is something I've built up over the last year. And this is just tailoring. So I've tried to just narrow it down into one subsection. So what I'm trying to do here is just make sure that everything connects together quite well. I'm doing very well, thank you, Rasheen. Just doing a bit of housekeeping at the moment. And uh, Twilight Lightning, how are you? Thanks for stopping by, good to see you. So shop crafting and standard DB region is the things we've got there. And these are all sniper standard DB region, standard DB region, and shadow silk was, it had cell shadow silk and standard DB region, right, okay. So let's try and remember that whilst we swap back over to our tailoring clean and just check those operations. So a lot of these have all the sort of uh, the default ones on them. So what I'm gonna do is take default off. I think that's gonna make things a little bit easier. Sometimes it's easier just to clean things out. Mailing default. Let's see how this looks. It might be a mistake to do this, but I'll just do it for now. Auctioning default can usually be quite nice to get rid of, actually. Uh, sniper. Sometimes the default is less necessary. Did I get rid of that one? Let's try that again. Vendoring. Just trying to keep this as clean as I can. What happens if I take those off? So now if we go to tailoring, shopping, group operations, there we go. then I can at least see things a little bit more easy that way. There we go. Uh oh, just you. What was that for uh, deviated? Uh, funny enough, this is uh, what you did over the weekend, writing new strings and cleaning up your old groups. Oh, was it? Talk so. Yeah, it's a good thing to do every now and again. Uh, watch YouTube uh, vids to start if you haven't already. Uh, yes, uh, thank you for the recommendation, uh, Morgan. I have a link for that. Um, it's um, Learn, I think. So I have, a, I have a whole YouTube series, which is a playlist of all going through TSM and setting it up. Starting with just the basics, really, and uh, setting up groups, and then going through all the different things. Take it step by step. Uh, you don't have to do it all at once. I mean, the way I did this was I just literally started small. Oh, is it freezing on your side? Oh, sorry to hear that. Um, it's currently okay at the moment, according to OBS. What's the actual stream health looking like on the live dashboard? Yeah, that's saying excellent on that one. Might have to do a, uh, a reload on your side. Oh, miss a whole lot of chat there. Uh, you remember the first time you saw my guys, you thought I was the developer of TSM. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yes, I'm. I'm certainly not a developer. I am. I'm just a uh, a fan and a user. I, I am a, an affiliated member now, so um, I have like an uh, affiliate link through TSM. So if you do decide to go for the premium version of TSM and you use my affiliate link, which I've got down below in my um, description, uh, then kind of like um, TSM and myself spread the, the profits from that. Glad you pay for 400 counter buffer. Oh, right, okay. Uh, used to watch YouTube because you can pause whilst you work through the setup. Yeah, that's very good. Uh, had a couple here, only for a brief second. Okay, maybe it's good. F maybe it's um, Twitch's side. Oh, thank you, um, Juan Sanchez. Very kind of you. Sell out totems. <laughs> How are you doing? Thanks for stopping by. All right. Um, 
Hope not catching me about to go. Um, no, not at the moment. I'm not. We're just currently going through and um, having fun with our tailoring group at the moment. Just finished a rating. Ah, oh, how did it go? Hope all was good. We're just going through and checking my operations on my clean tailoring group. So I'm hoping these will come through okay. So we're we've just we're not needing to. We've overrided the parent here. BFA mats. Now cloth bolt has its own special one, which is using the crafting cost. So we're going to use shop crafting for that. And shadow silk has average buy, but it also has an operation for that, which was sell shadow silk. There it is. Okay. Um, what are the actual uh, benefits to premium? Um, for me, it was one way for me to just support the TSM team. That was why I decided, and I got access to um, the TSM4 beta at the time. Um, the other thing you get with uh, the premium is the all your backups are synced up to the cloud. And the other thing you have is the great deals. When you go into um, your, where is it, in uh, shopping, you have this uh, great deal search, which is the same as going onto the website where it's got the potential great deals, but it has it as an easy sort of to click button. And you can click on that and it will go through the things that were potentially great deals on the website and it will um, put them up in a list. So you could think, oh, maybe I want to buy these uh, light spheres that are 20 gold at the moment when the market value is 400 gold. So it's kind of like a way of just uh, spotting some potential bargains. Uh, support is huge, get some extra money, uh, get premium because couldn't make gold without TSM or even play WoW by now. That's That was my thinking, Juan Sanchez. It was was basically um, the by using TSM, I was able to make enough gold to pay for my subscription. So my way of saying, okay, well, that money, well, Blizzard get their money anyway through selling of tokens and things. So my way of saying, okay, well, it's not going to cost me as much to pay for premium and do a sub to Gumdrops' stream, which I highly recommend checking out. And that was cheaper than my World of Warcraft subscription, so it was kind of like my way of doing it that way. Spending the same money, but differently. Uh, you want to farm, just don't know what to farm. <laughs> All right, okay, Tosh. Um, start with BFA herbs and ores. That's always a good thing. Um, a lot of people like to try transmog first off, but it's such a slow moving um, market that I always recommend going for current materials. But if you're going to do herbs as well, try things like cataclysm materials as well, like cataclysm herbs. They've usually got a good price to them as well. Okay, moving on. Um, we just need to check my operations here. Now what I'm hoping is that if I export this clean one again, it's going to keep all the operations attached to it this time. Because they, I've got this weird thing where um, some of the operations just disappear. So I'm going to just go through these and let's have a look at um, all my various things. So sell bags, that's working. One of each crafting is working. Silk weave satchel. Now, crafting, we don't want one of each of those. We want to up that one to eight of each. That's what we had there. Alec plushie had its own, it had a crafting operation, which was one of each. And it had an auctioning operation that was a Alec plushie manual one. There we go. Uh, you don't think Transbox is really gold. Uh, yes, it's kind of like a, an extra side, I would say. Um, high demand, but not high supply. Yeah. Um, oh yes, Primal Fire is another good one. Um, that usually holds a good price. Um, as a software developer, uh, support is huge. Just never know uh, knew what it offered. Ah, right, okay. Yeah, it's, it's basically, I think that's part of the, um, also the terms of service with add-ons and Blizzard is you can't really um, put any of the add-ons functionality behind a paywall. So all add-ons, uh, according to Blizzard, should be free, which, you know, I agree with. And that way, the, 
the, um, the, the benefits of paying for it are not game-breaking benefits. Which kind of makes sense to me. So, moving on down my groups. Um, so, now flags. Probably needs another operation onto this. Maybe let's have a look at something like crafting. What have we got here? Average region and DV market craft minimum. Sounds like a good operation to have. Let's just have a quick look at that one. Just check the actual uh, details of this one. Uh, so post cap of five, maximum of five of things, 96%. The minimum price is going to be the maximum either 120% crafting or 40% of the average between DB market and DB region market average and then the maximum price is 200% of the average between DB market and DB region market average and then normal price, can't quite see it down there is the maximum between either 200% crafting or 120% the average between DB market and DB region market average that's quite a nice just kind of catch all crafting average operation that I like to use these days I'm going to keep that one for the moment. Um, hey, what's your review? Did I say hello to you earlier? Sorry if I missed you. Uh, not all are free. Um, I think they should be, aren't they? Uh, nice thing, get some safety um, for a small amount of money. Yeah, exactly. Reminds you of the DBM guy. Don't know that one, uh, Deviated. Um, don't they get around that with like the add-on is free but they sell like gold making part for a small fee I don't know which of you um, is that something specific like a specific add-on not that I'm aware of anyway right um, we went down here let's carry on just checking all of these so this is split into two the crafting and the selling the crafting has it should have ignore item variations on and the selling shouldn't have it on so that one should be ticked and then this one isn't ticked and then looking at the operations of these so honorable gear crafting wise we're going to make eight of each which is correct and then selling wise honorable gear we're going to use average craft minimum the same one that's going to be a good one Oh, there's a leveling a leveling guide. Um, yes, I think I might have heard of that a long time ago. Never used it myself. Um, yeah, they from from a long time ago. I remember remember hearing about those. Yes, I can't remember if they were they were ones you had to pay for though. Right. Okay, moving on, pretty close. Let's put a standard operation on these. Probably the same, I would say. Let's do hmm, now. There's a couple of options here: crafting singles um, as a selling operation. Let's just have a look at that. What kind of operation is that? How does it look? 24 hours. Oh, we've got cap size of 10 to those. Vendor sell is included here, and maximum 800% crafting. So it's a bit more weighted there on a maximum price okay a slightly different flavor operation with interesting uh, a 10 cap on there which is a bit misleading because that's saying crafting singles so how is that different um, that includes a vendor cell that's just got a DB market I don't think that's much different from my other one I think I prefer the other one so let's change this Let's get rid of that one and add in my average one. I think that's a good one there. Um. Oh, right. Is that right, Rasheen? Okay. Uh, so, and one was called Tycoon. Uh, all have gold part. And you can buy the basic add on as free. Oh, right. Okay. The guide was paid for because it was uh, there was a Tom Tom was an extra add-on pack um, for coordinates. Ah, right. 
Oh, don't say tycoon. Oh, did I get that wrong? Uh, let's have a look back. Oh, right, okay. That's a TSM clone you can get if you pay only and do a lot of shady stuff. Oh, okay. Doesn't sound quite so good. Um, use the add-ons and make a guide and then release it for free. Yeah, I mean, my my personal take on these things is um, I, I, I like to, you know, this is the world of the internet where, you know, the general expectation is things are free. And I, I'm in agreement with that. If there's anything I can provide, you know, I would provide that information free because I myself have learned that information. I'm digesting it and passing it on in my flavor. And then the way of supporting someone is through voluntary means. Um, those that can will, and those that can't, well, that's fine too. And so that's how I tend to sort of uh, approach things like that. And then you can use support like something like advertising or uh, things like YouTube advertising to, so it's not necessarily um, someone has to directly pay for it. They're all basically a mini add-on that added uh, waypoints. Yeah, exactly. There we go. There's, there's an example of um, advertising my uh, QWERTY referral link. If you can't pay, tell a friend about it, that mentality. Yes, exactly, Daniel. Exactly. If you think it's good, that is, certainly. Um, just going on through here, pretty close. I think these should all be one of each. The crafting wise except for shadowy mask which I like to do two of each I'll override that one and put two of each on that one now shadowy mask probably has its own operation assigned to it uh, shadowy mask times two that one I imagine and then mooncloth robe I believe has its own there it is and then everything else will leave them. And then moving on down, shirts wise, auctioning, let's override that. And let's go on for the average region for that one. Crafting, override that with one of each. And then we've got lucky shirt. Now that has old world region average as a as a thing. Can I actually craft lucky shirts? I don't believe I can. That's a vendor buy thing, I believe. You've been supporting um, TSM about two years now. You donate support online services that you enjoy and we're not going to have around for some time. It's all free. Uh, it will not survive too long. Exactly, Agent Rusky. Uh, those that you know can and are willing to support will, certainly. You only started using TSM yesterday. Well, good luck, Tosh. Um, like we said earlier, um, definitely you know hang out if they've got any questions. Um, feel free to shout them out, and we will help if we can. Um, shirts you make definitely wants one of each, and rich purple is one of each. But I think we'll change this one to a specific rich purple cell. And I think my crafting I did have as more than one of each. Let's up that to two of each. There we go, because that's kind of a special case. Because those are the things I mainly sell and use. Okay. Taking such a nosedive out. Hey, Nick, how are you? Um, is the vendor installment? Yes, that's right, Commander Bond. I remember it was somewhere. Um, Taking a nose dive on your realm, 150 gold each. Yes, it happened to me on uh, Shadow Song. There's a couple more people came in because I used to be the only seller of it, and they came in and they were selling it for. It went down to like 50 gold. Now, considering the crafting price is really, really cheap, and there's no way of controlling the materials um, because it's only sort of like silk that um, that makes it, so it's really cheap. Um, for me. You know, I went down to the bottom price and then it, at the moment, has gone back up again to about 3,000 average. So hopefully that's going to stick. So that's my tailoring group. What I'm going to try and do is just test out, see if the operations have actually stuck this time. So I'm going to export it and import it again, just as a test. 
Um, anyone of you have Garrus and Herb Chaser up? Oh, it's a, um, if anyone does, they're uh, more than welcome to shout out in chat. I haven't checked myself in a long time on things like that. Um, so, tailor and clean. So, let's create a new profile and we'll call this um, tailoring test um, operations stick. There we go. So what we'll do here is we'll take tailoring clean, we'll export that, include attached operations, let's select tailoring, actually let's do it from the base query, let's do everything. Click next, copy that, then we'll go over to our tailoring test operation stick, nice name, and import again and see if this works this time. Uh, paste that in and we'll skip import confirmation so I'll just go straight away and import it as one go so we've added those in now let's just check the operations group operations now the defaults have all come back in again so let's just have a look at these um, BFA mats this is shopping shopping average buy this should be no, it hasn't come through, unfortunately. So it'd almost have to um, come with some instructions as to how to do this and which ones to have for each one. That's kind of frustrating because it should be like this. And cloth bolts should be shop crafting operation. And cloth should be shopping average buy. There we go. Do you think a reload would work next? Okay, let's try it. See what happens. They did nerf it, making it uh, not epic as well. Yes, that was uh, that was another thing, wasn't it? Sometimes it helps. Okay, next we'll have a look. It would be nice if that does work, because that's one of the one of the slight frustrations I have of sharing my pace bin of things is the operations not being assigned to the right places. It does make it quite tricky. Okay, let's have a look. Go back to my let's try this one. Groups. Cloth bolts. No, it's still got um, average buy on that one unfortunately unless we did it as a fresh one I'm not so sure because normally I'd expect it to be like this hey GG laser how are you yep definitely worth a try next you never know um, that certainly helps um, as a as a test okay well what I'll do is I'll leave this one here as an option and then what I'll do is that paste bin that new one I've just made I'm gonna pop that into my list of paste bins and make that available to everyone if they would like it um, let's go to my paste bin page I need to log in Hold on. See if that works. There's my paste bins. Right, let's make a new paste. And we'll call this tailoring. And paste in all the stuff. Create new one. All right, that's got all of the bits hopefully. So if people would like that paste bin of what I've just gone through, I'm going to pop that into chat. There we go. And then you are more than welcome to take my tailoring group, modify it, take the groups, uh, use it as you like, and uh, go on from there. But that should do for now. Now what I'd need to do is, what I'd like to do is go through all my different um, professions and do the same. Um, but I'm going to go back to my regular profile for the moment. 
and then carry on with using that one for now. There we go. <laughs> no worries, GG Laser. Any time someone comes in is a good time for me. Right, okay. Uh, what do I use for sniping? Usually I have quite a simple string, um, based on my average buy usually. Uh, so if I go to my sniper, um, actually I'll go into my group here, have a look. So things that I like to shop for, my sniping operation for these um, is here, is based off just average buy, that's all it is. Um, the average buy, so my um, my sniper operation is the first between either 95% average buy or 90% DB market. So that's kind of like quite a large catch-all, um, but I've only assigned that sniper operation. I haven't got the default one in here anymore, and that is assigned to my shopping, um, all my different shopping operations. They've all got shot um, sniper average buy. And so that way, all the stuff I'm interested in is the only stuff that will appear on my sniper. Ah, thank you very much, Nix, for sharing that. Right, okay, so we've done our cleanup, our auctions are on. Let's have a look at where we're at. So Tortolan Seeker's reputation, we've only just gotten into Honoured at the moment. Item level is currently 305, so we could do with upgrading that. We could do with doing some PvP. Um, <laughs> we're actually running out of time. Um, it's Shay was on. Shay has got a really good one, yeah. I would always uh, recommend Shay's stuff. She's got some very comprehensive uh, knowledge on... TSM. I heartily recommend it. Um, so for my last bit of stuff, I think I'll do a quick PvP battle just to try and get some Marks of Honor going. So let's have a look at player versus player. Uh, the next brawl is in six days, so we'll just have to do a... let's do a random battleground as a priest. The queue should be fairly small for that. Less than two minutes. And so whilst we're doing that, let's have a look at the map. See if there's anything for Tortolan Seekers. Uh, beachhead is there. That's an option. Uh, what else have we got here? The both are to Beachhead. One up the top, one down here. Let's go for the closer one. Down here. Can we get a flight? Yeah, we can get a flight down there. There we go. You just copied the paste bin and it reverted back all to default. Oh, that is frustrating, isn't it? Um, I don't know how to fix it, uh, Quinbui, but um, what I'd probably suggest is um, what I'll do is I'll make a little guide for it and I'll put a list of what operations to assign to which ones or maybe do screenshots for each one maybe that will help it's a shame you have to do it manually it'd be nice if you could just pop it all in yourself um, thankfully though there's only a few operations so it should be fairly self-explanatory oh when you copied it over a tsm error came up oh interesting okay i didn't get that myself i'll have to maybe just double t double test it all right, let's just fly over. I want to go down here, so let's go this way. Ah, and let's join in. Ooh, what's this one? Burning Crusade. Ooh, okay, capture the objectives. I think I did this once. Got a couple of minutes to go. How is everyone? We've got a couple of healers. That could be useful. Uh, refreshment table. Very nice. Just make sure everyone's coming in. We've got a lot of DPS. Three healers. So that's going to be interesting. 
Let's go um, hold towers, cap flag. Let's see how we get on with that then. I like how we're all just in this one little barrier area. Who's this healer? Um, that's a, a monk healer. Ah, oh, interesting. And then we have uh, two priests. Uh, do I sell much transmog? Um, yes, I would say uh, they are very slow, especially on my server, Shadow Song. I, I get very, very few transmog sales, especially since BFA has been out. Um, that kind of market has slowed up for me because a lot of my transmog is particularly uh, old or not necessarily um, that useful. So I would say transmog in general is is a slow mover. You'd have to have thousands of them on to get any consistent numbers of sales, and then it's quite a pain to um, keep posting them back on. But it's nice to have as a as a secondary market. Um, I usually limit mine to anything that's o worth over a thousand gold. If it's worth l less than a thousand gold, I don't. I just uh, vendor it or disenchant it. Right, I'm going to stick with people on this one. I'll follow where the main crowd is going. I think that's probably the safest. Where is everyone off to? <laughs> You're flying over there. It's interesting. Right, let's go middle. And then hold that, because everyone else is rushing in. And then... I'll just make sure everyone's okay. Oh, yeah. oh looks like we've got a steamroll here. This is not going to be good. Psychic scream. Let's move out the back. That was that was a terrible start. I literally went straight into the middle of that. I should have backed off a little bit more. Right. Um, Let's make sure we get our chef's hat back on as soon as we resurrect. Um, middle isn't safe at all. People go flying. Yeah, I just, I just found that out, Rashid. Okay, let's start again. There we go. You keep about 800 up. Uh, he's getting a ton of sales a day for a while, but it's been slow now. Aha, right, okay. Yeah, it looks like um, everyone's coming together over this side. So let's help on out. Just stay a little bit further out. There we go. Let's get some shields ticking on. There we go. Right, okay. Heals. Penances if we can. people on, shield myself, and then move back in, probably disenchant that, dot you as you came in, shield on you, so I need to just keep myself in the background on these things, shield as appropriate, and dot as appropriate, keep the shields up. Get some shadow men's on. Get some dots going. Oh yeah, that's that. And where's everyone gone? Are we working our way towards the middle? Let's see if we can help out a little bit. Everyone seems to be doing okay at the moment. There we go. Hey, right one too. How are you? Out of range there. Let's just stay a little bit further back on this, because, as Rasheem says, I don't want to start flying like that. Just help people out, there we go. There we are. How's everyone doing? You're doing okay at the moment. Where are you? 
just dot that down. Shield you. And we can go back. Mind control them off the edge is always fun. <laughs> I've never considered doing that, but uh, that does sound that could be interesting. Right, how's everyone doing there? Right, do we need to move further in? It looks like there's a bit of a battle going on down there. Let's push on through. Let's get some dots going. Ooh, I'm going to help you out if I can. There we are. Then you can have some help. Everyone's split in two over the two sides, so I'm going to have to just watch which way I'm going. Looks like we're going this side. Seems to be the way forward. Let's head on over. Uh, looks like there's a bit of a duel going on here. Let's see if I can even the odds up somewhat. Yeah, I might even get my mind bender out to help out on that one. Now we're going over to the horde side. Let's have a look. Who have we got here? Just one on there. That's immune to that. Okay. What do we need to do here? Apologies if I haven't caught up on chat. Yeah, let's start it with the dart. Shield and a shield. Move out of the way of that. It's not going to help me. Let's get a smite going if we can. There we go. Now, do we need to stand here for a bit? I'm assuming we need to until this has been claimed. See how things go. Looks like everyone's over that side. What did I miss on chat? Uh, mid and never safe there. Uh, <laughs> right, okay. Oh, there we go. Alliance is taken. So I think we can move further down. Let's go join in. There's a graveyard over there, so I've got to watch out for that. Let's see if I can help out with some... Yeah, I need to do some serious healing here. There we go. Shielding. Let's dot these people up. Oh, you need healing, you need healing, you need healing, you need a penance maybe. Do that, get some shields up on everyone. Alright, where is everyone? Let's stay in stay together. Looks like people are starting to push forward a little bit. Let's stay in the background. Penance as we go. Oh, got stunned on that one by the Infernal. Let's keep my dots going. Right, how's everyone's shields? They look alright so far. What can I do with this? Go. We've got that. There's a rogue. Uh, let's try a psychic scream. Uh, let's get my mind bender on you, actually. That will help. Then we can do some shields on this. Maybe do a little bit of dispelling on that. Get some dots going. Get some shields going. Ah. Looks like that's coming in. Let's try that. Okay. Ooh, looks like a bit of a scramble going here. What can we do for shielding people? Just stay in the background a little bit. There we are. Penance will help on that, keep you healed. Ah, everyone's doing well. Now that's Alliance, is it? Okay. So, where do we head over to next? How's the map doing? Everyone's over that side? Okay. Oops, pressed the wrong button. There we go. Oh, where's my mount? There it is. Could really do with someone staying there, but let's go have a look. Where's everyone at? Everyone's going into the middle. I think we should really come over this side. That's where Horde is currently based. Uh, you're on your own there. Let me see if I can help you out. OK, 
get you healed whilst you can. There you go. And everyone's got a bit of a chance. You're shielded. There we go. Let's dot you out a little bit. Oh, oh yeah. Where have you gone? Yeah, that side. Oh, you're going over that way. I'll dot you whilst we go. Might as well keep a dot on you. Whilst I can. Looks like Horde are pushing up over that side. Could really do with helping out over there. So we've got that side and over this side. Yeah, let's get some dots going here. I'll stay in the background whilst everyone helps out. Oh, you need some help. Help, quick. Do everything. All my cooldowns. Oh, looks like I've been targeted. Let's get a... Where's my pain suppression gun? I already used the cooldown on it. Let's get that going. Psychic scream. Spirit Beast can have another dot. Oh, it's getting a bit frantic here. Everyone's over here. Let's get myself over to a safe place. Go to your safe place, Samadan, and heal from afar. Oh, that's going to hurt. Shield up over that. Let's dot all this lot up. Oh, unfortunately you died. Oh, and I might die. Yeah. Well, that was certainly intense. Uh, shining force when at flag in mid. Uh, it's close between Arathi and uh, Warsong Gulch. Okay. Take and hold the bases. Cap flag at the bases. Okay. So what's the shining force part? I think I missed that one. Right. Let's go join in. Where is everyone at? Oh, they're over this side. It's not far at all. Where is everyone else? So we've just got one here. Let's help out. Might as well get some extra help going on here. When Bender has joined in. Right, okay. okay. Oh, my Shining Force talent. Ah, right, okay. I don't know even where that is. Where is it? I may not even have taken it. Hmm, no, I can't see it there. I have to check for that one. It has knockback. Oh, I see. I can see where that would be useful. Let's mount up for this one. So they all go flying. Aha! -ha. I now I see. I'll have to look in to see whether I've gotten that when I'm not in the middle of the battleground. Got oh, lots of stuff going on here. Look at all this. Looks like there's a big battle going on. Let's see if I can help out. Dot people up. Whilst we go in. Shields up. Well, we could do with putting down a powered barrier down here. Just to help people out there. That would be useful. Haha! And there we go. Nice. Steel strong box. So how did I do in terms of healing? Okay. Not amazingly by comparison, but I did at least, well, coming up for half their healing and more damage, which was quite good as a disciplined priest. So that's quite good, mixing the two. I did quite a bit of damage wise. I mean, I'm not exactly up here on the damage meters, but still, as a priest, that's not too bad. On again, 907. Okay, learning to be done. Trying to just keep on top of things is the main thing, really, with those. 
Right, well, at least the main thing was we got a steel strong box, which means another mark of honor, so we can start the collection going for those ranks. Where are we at here? We also got the champion strong box as well, so that will be interesting uh, once we land. Obviously, we're on our way to do that world quest over here. Might leave that for now because it's already quite late. Didn't get the chance to do any drums at the moment, but we did get our auctions on, so that was the main thing. Um, Adrios, how are you? Thanks for stopping by. Uh, apologies if I missed anything in chat whilst I was doing that PvP. But uh, yeah, it definitely sounds. Uh, I'll have to look up that Shining Force. Where was that? Um, talents. Um, let's have a look. Where would Shining Force be? Aha, it's over here. Creates a burst of light around friendly target, knocking away nearby enemies and slowing their movement speed. Aha, well, what have I got at the moment? Reduces the cooldown of Psychic Stream by 30 seconds. Hmm. That's a good idea, Mushy. You mentioned that last time. I think that's probably a good idea. I haven't made that many yet, but definitely. Um, I the, the special profession ones, I thought they were coming in 8.1, unless there's more professions other than that. I can't remember. Uh, tell everyone it looks interesting. Gives you a chance to find old world cloth whilst doing current content. Mm, that could be interesting. Collect up some nice old world bits and pieces. Um, I'm going to leave this for now, actually. I'm not going to do the uh, Totolum one. What I will do, though, just to finish it up, let's take the Steel Strong Box. There's a Mark of Honor. We now have four Marks of Honor. Not a lot, but there we go. <laughs> Thank you, Bolton. And what do we have here? A raider's supply cache, okay. And in there we have Tempest Hide, okay. And Coarse Leather, okay. Not bad. <laughs> Not that much really, Bolton. I just let it grow out, but thank you nonetheless. Okay. So I think I probably... I'm done with that for the moment. Um, I'll have a look at my paste bin, see if there's a, a way I can just um, sort out those uh, tailoring um, items and see if we can get a sort of more comprehensive sort of uh, guide coming up with those. Other than that, um, I think we made some good progress today, um, tidied up a few things. <laughs> I think this is about as big as it gets, though, as uh, some skittles. It doesn't actually grow any longer than it is now, so I kind of I've kind of hit my terminal length as it is. But I'm I'm all right with that. It's a a full a full Gandalf one would have been nice, but I don't think I've got um, I don't think I've got the capacity to do full Gandalf, unfortunately. Right. Okay. What I'll do, I think, as I'll stay here just in case there's something else uh, that comes up when I next log on. I um, want to say a big thank you to everyone who's hung out in chat tonight. Really nice having your company. Let's see if we can find someone to throw a host over to. Um, who is on? We have a few different people. I think... Um, I will send, who have we got, um, most people are either on different games, uh, let's carry it over from one chill gold maker to another, let's go over and see what Kuhn's up to, because he's currently collecting all the things, so what I'm going to do is send a host over to him. Right, okay. Slash host. Make sure I've got that spelt. Okay. 
So I am next on on Friday. So until then, happy gold making. Um, and then we'll see how things go. Until next time, have fun. And I'll see you all very soon. I'm going to send a host over to Kuhn, who is also a chill uh, Warcraft player. <laughs>